Okay, good evening everybody. It's Bart from GiantScaleNews.com and this is the 20cc Edge 540 profile from Red Wing RC that I was using uh, in the group build thread. And uh, I was out flying it. I haven't flown it a whole lot, but I did take it out flying um, a couple of weeks ago and I dorked it in a landing and um, what happened was a lot of this fuselage structure in here uh, kind of exploded inside of the covering. So I just wanted to talk about this real quick because a lot of you guys are building these and um, what makes this video kind of important is if you're putting real rigid landing gear on these things, um, you're going to want to do these quick mods to reinforce this area behind the landing gear because uh, the airplane comes with kind of flexible landing gear and you couldn't do this damage with that gear but when you go ahead and put some real rigid gear on, uh, all of a sudden all those loads from landing get transferred into this area of the fuselage and you'll have a tendency if you do lousy landings like I do you'll see the same kind of damage in yours so this is a way you can prevent that right off the bat by reinforcing a couple of areas before you fly it alright so what happened was um, I came in landed hard on one wheel and when you do that that landing gear load is going to want to push the push this the, the lower surface of the fuselage back and while the weight is trying to come forward you get these two fuselage sides in compression and what happens is they want to flex like that so you know these airplanes are being built around a 20 cc engine and uh, you can't blame uh, guys like Tim at Red Wing you know the designers the people that are working on these things you can't blame them they're trying to make a, a light airplane around a specific engine to have maximum performance so you want it to be light but then somebody like me comes along who flies uh, you know, a little fat on the thumbs and they get damaged. So especially when you're making modifications and changing things. Like I said, this wouldn't have happened with the, the more flexible landing gear that come with the airplane. The gear would have bent, I would have bent them back into shape and I would have kept flying. But with rigid gear, the loads are transferred into the fuselage a little bit more directly. So again, these sides uh, were in compression down this area here. They, oh, they tried to flex and the formers inside uh, this real thin plywood that was there uh, shattered so the, the little bulkhead former things shattered and uh, some other stuff did so if you're going to put more rigid landing gear on these what you'll need to do is cut open these two bays of the fuselage peel the covering off and then remove the lower landing gear plate. All this stuff is real thin plywood in order to be light. And it works great. You don't hear anybody complaining that these things are falling apart just from flying. But mine, because I dorked the landing, uh, did this damage. So it shouldn't happen again with these modifications. So remove the lower thin plywood sheet from the bottom. Uh, what I did was I put eighth inch balsa across the two stringers on the inside of the plywood. You know, this set, the, the first course there's uh, stringers that run just inside of this plate okay and I'll flip this over in a second and show you what I did there but there's I think there are uh, like 330 second stringers that run down the fuselage on the inside of the plywood so what I did was I bridged across those stringers with eighth inch balsa and um, I also let me just take the camera off of the tripod here what you can see this dark wood is actually 16th plywood. So before I put the balsa in across the stringers, I fit these uh, plywood plates, doublers, on this bulkhead, this bulkhead, and then I also did it here. Now in my case, I was reinforcing all this stuff after gluing it back together again with CA, um, and I did a really sloppy job, so don't judge. But you could see where I tried to get the plywood down over the uh, over the tube that runs through the fuselage, that stiffening tube. Um, you could see the same thing here. I tried to bring the plywood down alongside of the tube to reinforce it and make it stronger. But then what I also did to handle these compressive loads that would be transferred into the fuselage from the landing gear uh, during a hard landing. Let me just flip this over. Okay, can we see this? 
So what I also did was I carved out the eighth inch stringers that were on each side of here and I ran quarter inch balsa also to give compressive strength so when this thing lands hard as that landing gear is trying to swing back and it's trying to push back on this bulkhead here and as the tail is applying weight and trying to make this whole thing kind of collapse and open up again I put stronger uh, stringers from this point from right behind the landing gear block back to this bulkhead so this area right behind the fusel or right behind the landing gear block should be a little more uh, rigid now a little less prone to blowing apart in hard landings and hopefully now the loads that come off of this landing gear block will transfer a little more uh, effectively into the rest of the airplane okay it'll resist that urge to just kind of open up and break apart its insides okay so we've got bridging across the stringers you can see that you can see the actual stringers those are the originals I made the low, lower ones larger I put balsa across that's going to keep the fuselage sides from wanting to spread out and then I reinforced my bulkheads just to keep those also from uh, failing as the fuselage sides try to uh, expand okay but so far I've flown it a bunch of times this is the motor I used I think it was $35 from Hobby King it's a uh, Turnigy L50558 or 5055 Bravo it's uh, 600 kV 1500 watts when you run it that's 1500 watts max when you run it with an 8 cell pack and uh, I have an 80 watt I'm sorry an 80 amp Turnigy ESC on there just a regular old generic Hobby King one right there okay and I have a quick video I'll put on the end of this that'll show you uh, it's got a lot of power at least for sport flying I don't do hardcore 3d stuff so it's hard for me to say uh, with a lot of certainty but I think if you see that it jumps off the ground with this power uh, power system um, you know I think you'll have a pretty good idea of what it's capable of all right so that's that hopefully you guys are building yours you're flying them and you're not dorking your landings like I am but if you plan on dorking them I think these little mods that I've done in the process of rebuilding uh, will help you to not have the same problem in the future all right so that's it thanks for watching bye bye go ahead Ready? yep Coming in? Yeah.